Hey everybody, it's Corey here at More Guitars and More Music in Evansville, Indiana. Today I'd like to uh, feature the Tony Franklin Precision Bass. This is a fretless guitar. Uh, this is done in a beautiful Lake Placid blue and matching headstock. Has the uh, black moto, what they call the, the four-ply black moto pick guard. Looks like a uh, gray perloid style pick guard or gray mother of toilet seat as uh, we would say. Uh, it does feature some nice, uh, very nice hardware and components. Uh, it's got a Tony Franklin signature precision bass pickup and a Tony Franklin signature jazz bass pickup. This one is stamped uh, with a DiMarzio cover, so uh, it's not listed on Fender's website as that, but uh, you almost have to assume because it says it right there. Uh, this is a top load bridge, standard Fender bridge. The switching on this is single volume, single tone, and a three-way blade. I love this idea. I'm not a huge fan of the two volume and one tone. I want, I want to be able to flip on the fly in uh, during a song as opposed to uh, changing knobs around. I know some people like the tonal variety of having two volumes and being able to blend in just the right amount of uh, signal from, from each pickup. I'm not one of those guys, uh, but um, this is the kind of switching that I like. It's a heavy-duty three-way switch. Feels very familiar uh, to anybody that plays Fender instruments. Uh, it does feature the Fender uh, light tuners, and it has a hip shot uh, D-extender built into it. Fantastic thing to have on your guitar, especially if you play uh, any modern rock. Uh, it does have a maple neck with an ebony fretboard. Uh, it is a 1.625 nut width, so this has the standard precision base uh, nut width to it. If you're looking for um, something that feels like a, a Jocko uh, Pastorius guitar, you probably ought to lean towards the jazz bass or get a Jocko Pastorius. This one is uh, set up to Tony specifications, which is based off of his precision basses. This thing has a ton of really good sounds. I love the sound of these pickups. The P bass pickup is very punchy, uh, pretty wooly. The uh, jazz bass pickup has that nice uh, jazz bass cut and uh, almost burpy tone. We'll, we'll go through that a little bit. Uh, the fingerboard feels really, really nice. If you're not a uh, fretless player, don't fret. <laughs> They've got you covered. The side dots are actually uh, placed where, you're, where the fret would be. So unlike a traditional bass guitar where the side dots sit in, in between the frets, this is where uh, the second dot here is on your E string is an actual G note. So uh, play a little bit here. There's the G. If I slide back to where the dot traditionally would be, it's slightly out of tune. Uh, you'll get used to it. It takes a little bit of time. Like any other worthwhile endeavor, you spend enough time with it uh, and you're going to get it in no time. So let's take a, a listen to the pickups. We're going to start off in the front position with everything rolled up, uh, volume at full and tone at full. So. Uh, let's play just a little bit of E blues here. Now I'm going to roll the uh, tone control back about 50% on here. This is a really, really great old school tone. And then the tone control all the way back.
you can almost get uh, upright sounds. Uh, if you use a palm muting technique and use your thumb to, to play, you can get... That is a really, really thick sound. I really dig it. Okay, let's go back uh, all the way to the back position, which is just the jazz bass pickup, and we'll feature it. Again, uh, volume at 100%, tone at 100%. All right, here is the tone control back at about 50%. All right, and the tone control rolled all the way back on the jazz pickup. Nothing is going to show you uh, if your left hand technique is good or bad, better than a fretless. Uh, you notice when uh, I shift a lot when I'm playing fretless because I'm, I'm using reference tones uh, to try to get to pitch. Okay, uh, here it is with both pickups engaged, everything rolled up to uh, 100%. Roll the tone control back to about 50% with both pickups. And then all the way back. This is a fantastic instrument. Let me show off the, uh, the drop D hip shot extender. So on the fly, in the middle of a song. Yeah, break out all those great grunge riffs that uh, you have stockpiled from the 90s. That's where it's at. Man, this thing is a killer American-made bass. You can find it on our website, More Guitars, or give us a call. Uh, here at our humble shop in Evansville, Indiana. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.